Hey guys, so again it's Steve and I'm bringing you another fragrance review and today I'm looking at uh, Silver Men by George's Men Mezzotti. Um, so I basically did my first few YouTube reviews where I just basically bought like quite a few fragrances cheaply and I bought lots of them at wholesale price and I think I paid like £4.50 for this and I kind of just did a very quick overview of all my different fragrances you know, kind of just giving a quick first impressions. And um, recently I've been going to my local department store at um, dinner time or lunch break in work. And I've just been spraying on various different um, fragrances and testing them out. And I was never sure what this was a clone of or if it was an original composition. But I'd read that it was um, a clone of Marc Jacobs Bang, which I can see because the bottle is very similar from um, pictures I looked up, but I've looked up the notes on um, on Bang and it's definitely not, definitely not, definitely not this. Um, I wasn't sure what, what this was a clone of, but then um, one day in work I kind of tried on 212 VIP Men by Carolina Herreres and this is it. Um, it's, not, it's not exactly the most office suited scent, you know, I work in an office and I'm putting this fragrance on at 2pm and then going back to work. And it's probably not the best thing to be smelling of. But, you know, I've been testing this now and it's a brilliant, brilliant clone. What I've done is I've, um... <laughs> I've sneakily gone to my local, um... Sort of department store to sell fragrances. And I've taken my little atomizer with me. And I kind of filled it up on the sly with a bit of, um, 2 and 2 VIP men. And I've sprayed on the... I've sprayed on silver men on this hand and the actual VIP men on my right hand and I've done this about two hours ago, two and a half hours ago and I've just been kind of watching how they both change and you know how similar they are at certain times yeah and right now they're just kind of identical so to speak you know um, the silver men opens with a very strong minty f scent um, it sort of jumps maybe like five minutes into how the um, the two and two smells at the start, like that. That initial sort of minty freshness doesn't last through from the original one for maybe five minutes until after you've applied it. And with this, you can just you just straight at that point, the the moment that you apply it. But then you know, um, half an hour later, then they both just kind of arrive at the same notes, and from that point, I kind of notice they both die down and quiet down, and then rise back up, um, at pretty much the exact same time. And the notes in both are kind of exact, you know, they are like for like throughout. So, um, yeah, right now they're kind of in a dry down zone. And it's just a bit of a, um, the freshness is still there, you know, but the mintiness is dry down. It's not so prominent. And it's just quite a very nice, pleasant smell now. I can't really detect much notes, I think there's a bit of um, gin and alcohol in here and I don't think this has the caviar at the start, you know, I just get a very minty fresh burst um, it's quite a cold, like icy mint but yeah, right now they're just identical so what I'll do now is quickly spray them on to see how they compare at the start view and you can see how the sprayer works So. On my left hand, on my left, I'll take the two and two clone. Yeah, the spray is not the best. It kind of, it doesn't burst out. You know, it's just a kind of, it's a bit of a spritz. And yeah, it's not straight away minty, but I never really smelled um, caviar, so I can't comment on how that smells. But there's a definite freshness. You know, the icy minty feeling is there. <clears throat> I'll probably use up the last of the um this atomizer by spraying this on. Yeah, it checks out loads. Yeah, they are very similar actually. <laughs> this one's quite alcoholic.
Yeah, this seems a bit um, cooler from the start. It's not so. It's not so loud. I find this is quite. Um, it's quite calm when you first spray it on, and it takes a little bit of time to develop into um, the boisterousness that it has. You know, both are very well. Well, not both. I mean, two and two is a very good um, clubbing scent. It's kind of um, definitely loud enough to kind of make itself known. And I think with this, it's a brilliant clone. The projection seems pretty good. I mean, I was, I was wearing it the other night. And I think it lasted a good six hours or so, which is ideal for a night out. And you can always carry decants. Probably on eBay, they would sell for itself like 10 or 15 pounds, I think. And well worth the price. I mean, I really do like the smell of this. Yep, you know, like two minutes into the spray, and they are both very similar. Very pleasant. I mean, in terms of likeness, I'm going to give this a 10 because it's a very, very good clone. Um, in terms of the smell, you know, it's a it's a different age, it's 80 and up. It's probably a good night out scent. I could see it being worn across all seasons too in the night out. I could guess that heat would play a big role in how it'll smell. And I'm very impressed with the clone. So um, thanks for watching. Any comments? Um, subscribe. Any comments? Ask below. Um, please like and su subscribe to my channel for more reviews. And again, thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheers.